What's up, YouTube? Alright. Now I'm going to tell you something that I just recently heard about that happened October 5th, it looks like, which was roughly like, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, it seems like. This kid called Jake Evans took a gun, took a 22 revolver and killed his mother and fa mother and sister. I mean, what gave him, why did he do that? And he, he said he planned on killing anyone for a while. I mean, what the heck? Then he calls 911 right after he killed him. I mean, what the fuck? Just like um, some guy um, called Landon Production said. Yeah. Pardon my language, though, but what the flip? What is going on with that? And he calls the cops, and there's a recording of him calling the cops, and I'll put both videos down in the link in the description. I mean, what the fuck is going on? What get... Why did he kill his mom and sister? And then later he said that they asked, are you planning on hurting yourself? And he said, no. And I'm going to play this recording of, um, of, um, what's his name? Um, Landon Production. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Landon Production. This is where I talk about the news. Let's talk about this story. It just happened the other day, and it's just so messed up. It's about this 17-year-old kid. His name is Jake Evans, and I'm not sure if I'm ever going to forget his name. Pretty much what happened is he killed his mother, and he killed his sister. And he decided to call 911. What the fuck? And for... And who would do that? Shouldn't he have run for his life? For some reason, this whole conversation leaked onto the internet. So if you guys want to watch the original conversation of Jake, just click the link in the description below, and it'll take you to the video. I'll put so one down, too. this is how too. the conversation started. The dispatcher said, where's the emergency? Jake replies with, not my house. And then the officer says, well, what's the emergency? And he pretty much tells her that he killed his mom and he killed his sister. The dispatcher said, what? And then he repeated himself. Who the hell says shit like that? Pardon my language, but who in the right mind would say that? If that was me, I'd be like, wait, what the fuck did you just say? I know they probably hear about so many weird stories, but how many people actually called to say that you just killed someone? So we told the cop that you killed him with a 22 <gasps> revolver. Like, really? You're 17 years How do you get a hold of a 22 revolver? I thought you had to be 21 to purchase, to legally purchase a handgun. Like, really? You're 17 years old. What the hell are you doing? How the hell do you even shoot your mom and shoot your sister? And then the cop on the phone said, Jake, are you sure that they're dead? Like, is that a normal question to be asking? And he replied with, yes. And he was so nice and calm in this conversation. It's like you're just on the phone and you're not saying anything at all. And a lot of points in the conversation, she actually... It's just like this. If I heard that, if he said, yeah, I just killed my mom and dad, I would have been like... Or my mom and sister, I would have been like, oh, what the fuck did you just say? That's what I'd be like. I mean, I wouldn't be like, okay, um, so you killed your mom and sister. Um, um, I'd be like, um, please say that again. What the fuck? What? Why would you do that? That's basically the way I respond. How do you do this? Tells Jake to hold on a second. It's like, okay, I'll, uh, I'll hold on while uh, you come arrest me. Like, seriously, Jake, shouldn't you be, like, friggin' running somewhere? And then the officer asked, are you alright? Like, I'm pretty sure this kid's alright, but he's so fucked up in the head. But he just replies with, yeah. He told the officer that he killed them because it just kind of happened. And he wasn't even mad at them. But he was planning on killing them for a long time now. The officer asked him, were you planning on killing them or were you planning on killing anybody? Jake pretty much replied with, well, I was planning on killing anybody. And then the dispatcher asked him, why? He said he doesn't really like people's attitudes. What the hell kind of reason is that? He said that his- Yeah, you don't kill people just because of that. That is no reason. Mom and his sister would always be rude to each other. I'm pretty freaking sure that is not a reason to kill someone. He He's right. That is not a reason to kill someone. He told the officer that he understands that it was a bit selfish, and he thinks that he is evil. Buddy, fucked up in the head is what you are. And then he's telling the officer, well, this yeah. is gonna mess him up in the future. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock, just killed your- If you kill your mom and sister, no dud's gonna screw you up. You're gonna go to jail, or if you're eight- If you're- What is-
is going on? I mean, yeah, you're going to be in trouble for killing your mom and sister. It's going to screw up your life. It, it might even screw up you getting a job or you, um, you might be arrested even if you are 17 because you have to be 18 to legally go to jail. <sighs> Mom, and you killed your freaking sister. I hope that this messes up your future. I really hope that you go to jail and you just die in there. So Jake was telling the officers how he shot them. So pretty much he told his sister to come to him. When she got to him, he shot her in the head. And she went tumbling down the stairs. And then he shot her again. And then Jake went down the stairs. His mom came. And then he shot her. This is so freaking disturbing. So he was telling the officer that he shot his mom three times. And he will never... That's a little too much. Forget this. So when he shot his sister, his sister wasn't dead yet. So he went over his sister and said, I'm sorry. Like, sorry's not even gonna cut it. And then he said that his sister... Sorry doesn't... Doesn't cut it. I know someone... Um, I heard a story about someone who, um, it's similar, he, he killed his daughter, and he was a drunken alcoholic, he beat her, and it was the voice of Ducky and Lamb before time, and then he killed his wife, and his little daughter who was 10, and then he killed himself. That's usually what people do, if they go kill someone, they kill themselves, so they don't go to jail. And... I know a story that happened out here with two neighbors that didn't get along. They hated each other. And one guy heard a sound outside and he grabbed his gun. And the two neighbors did not get along at all. This is off topic, but the guy had a bat and a knife. A huge knife behind his back. And then the guy who had the gun shot him. He didn't go to jail because it was self-defense. You can't just walk up to people's land with a bat and a huge knife in your hand. I heard about that story from like a cop who was a friend of my mom's. Yeah. Wow. What is wrong with people now? I started to freak out. Jake, you just shot your sister. She's gonna freaking freak out. And then he said not to freak out to her. Like, wow, what the fuck? He told us. How do you not freak out if you just shot someone? She would start to scream. Guns are painful, dude. Sister to hold still while he held the gun. Not, not, I'm not saying it to him, I'm not, I'm saying it to Jake, but Jake, guns are really painful, dude. And that he was gonna make it all go away. And that's when he shot her in the head, and that's when she died. That's just so freaking sad. That, that was her last moments of life. But he didn't just shoot her once in the freaking head, he had to shoot her three more times. So this conversation went on for a while, and he was telling the officers that he was sitting about ten feet away from their body. And I'm thinking, like, holy shit. This guy is seriously on the phone with the cop, probably just staring at their bodies. And then the officers asked Jake, well, where's your father? And he said that he's out of town. That's just so sad. I mean, imagine coming home, your wife's dead, your daughter is dead. Jake, why didn't you just take that 22 revolver and just shoot yourself in the freaking head? Because you don't deserve to live. And Jake was telling to the cops, for future reference, I don't want to see any of my family mates. I don't want them coming in to visit me. Like, I'm pretty sure that they do not want to come into the frickin' jail cell and see you. And he's telling the officers that his grandparents live across the street, and his other sister is over there right now. I can't imagine being her. Imagine coming home, and what if- I think that, uh, she- that- he said that sister lived with his- lived with her grandparents. What if she gets there before the officers get there? I mean, you get in, and your mom's right there dead with like, blood everywhere, and your sister's down at the bottom of the stairs, blood everywhere, and your brother is just chilling on the phone in the freaking kitchen. And then the cops started asking Jake, are, you're not going to hurt yourself, right? And he replied with, no, I don't want to die. Like, are you serious? Okay, the officer on the phone is doing a great job up until now. If I was that officer, I'd be like, Jake, where's that gun? Can you go grab that gun and just shoot yourself in the fucking head? And then he's telling the officer that he's kind of freaked out about guns now. And then he says, I assure you that I don't like killing people. Then why the hell did you kill your mom and your freaking sister? I want to know what you guys think of the story. I bet you this kid just goes to a to insane agree. asylum why did you kill and he your gets out in like Dick? a few years. Also, I want to know that, what do you guys and, think and should happen to anyone? this kid? Then if you guys were the ones to give him a punishment, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section below. That's all I got to say in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is effed up. So anyway, just type down in the comments, tell me what you think.
What do you think should happen to this kid? Like he says, all right, peace. Stay up to date and subscribe. And I'll be making more videos.